Strong to severe storms moved through southeast Cattleland early this morning. Meteorologist Scott Mund has a rundown on the rain totals. This is what the radar looked like during the overnight hours and into early this morning as storms with strong winds blew through southeast Kettleland. And here's what was left behind as many reported wind gusts of near 60 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour. As you can see, this is a list of some of the wind reports. Sioux Falls topped off at 72 with a wind gust around 415 this morning. Yankton had a gust of 71, but the strongest report was 80 for Beersford. Not only did we have strong winds, but heavy rainfall. In fact, some in southeastern Kettleland received over two inches of rain. This is an area that's been holding out on the recent rains. One of the highest reports ended up being near Vermilion at just shy of two and a half inches. From there, areas around Mitchell ended up being around an inch and a half to two inches. Even areas of Sioux Falls had readings of over an inch with amounts of an inch to an inch and a quarter being common on the south to southwest side of the city. Now the airport was far less with an amount just shy of three quarters of an inch, but it's the heaviest one day rain in Sioux Falls since 5500s fell on May 14th. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Lund.